Vice Chancellor of the Institute, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends and media. The third international conference on recent advances in material chemistry organized by the Department of Chemistry, SRM Institute of Science and Technology, Cotton Group of Chennai, in association with Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, CEA France, is a lot of good effort by SRM and CEA of France. The relation between India and France in the areas of science and technology is noteworthy. For the last 50 years, Indo-French cooperation in space is a leading example for international cooperation. The first launches of aerial varieties, area 3, 4, 5, and 6, are uh, carried, carried Indian satellites. Many of the sophisticated and strategic science and technology instruments and satellites of France were taken to orbit by Indian satellites and launch vehicles, indicating mutual trust and confidence. Coming to the conference topic, Recent advances in material chemistry is really a multifaceted topic dealing with the discovery and designing of new materials. Research in material chemistry is vibrant and a breakthrough in material science would bring significant all-round impact on future technologies. For example, the establishment of the National Nanotechnology Initiative in India in April 2000 attracted multi-agency research program in nanoscale science and technology. It has had an immense impact. It cemented the important and promise of nascent emerging field establishing it immediately as the most exciting area in the whole of the physical sciences. Nanotechnology simultaneously gained an identity, a vision, and a remarkable level of funding through the initiative. It also established a method of funding interdisciplinary science in such a way that the rest of the world would have to try to match for it. Now, more than 60 countries have national research focus projects on nanotechnology, while industry nanotechnology already has exceeded that of government worldwide. I was informed that the global nano-related R&D budget was in excess of 20 US billion dollars. It means nanoscience and technology has moved from just be a small group of researchers to a broad platform for scientific advancement, education, medicine, and economy, not only in a few nations, but also on a real global scale. The last 50 years have seen advanced composite takeoff, quite literally, in that many applications of this light, but strong materials have been in aviation and aerospace. But modern composite materials have touched just about all industries, including transport, packaging, civil engineering, and sport. Leading the charge on carbon fiber reinforced plus plastics are more properly continuous carbon fiber organic matrix composites. These materials bond extremely stiff, high strength carbon fibers with your polymer matrix to give combined material that is also exceptionally tough and light in weight. The early 60s saw the development of carbon fibers produced by rail and which based it precursors. The long volume atomic molecular chains give their fibers <coughs> exceptional strength and stiffness. This was a real gain over the amorphous glass fibers used previously in composite materials. The development of carbon fibers, together with advances in design, modeling, and manufacturing, has given rise to composite materials with controlled specific properties. Rather than engineering, engineer using a constant set of material characteristics. Organic matter composites and associated manufacturing methodology now enables the engineer to design the material for a specific application. The manufacturing science has opened up new frontiers, effectively moving component design down to material design. The spectacular gain in the performance has seen the increased use of these materials, despite the cost and increased difficulty in design, shaping, and recycling, such that New aerospace vehicles, namely satellites, rockets, reusable spaceships, and even aeroplanes use composite materials extensively. Now coming to the day-to-day -day work, it's hard to remember how we go before the laptops and cellular phones came along as right to research restaurants. This revolution would not have been possible without the transition from 
rechargeable batteries using aqueous electrolytics. The PMIM batteries has revelation is the whole part of the day. In particular, the cathode needs a lightweight framework structure with a free volume in between to allow a large amount of lithium ions to be inserted and extracted reversibly with high mobility. The process of material design and discovery involved a mixture of clever chemical and electrochemical intuition, rational assessment of the technical requirements, and substantial experimental effort were continues to develop cathode materials without toxic and with few three dimensional framework structures for environmentally benign high energy density batteries. The ability to fabricate functional structures and working devices in different materials is central to the production of micro electronic devices, data service systems, and many other products. This process is almost exclusively carried out by highly specialized, complex, and very expensive photolithography equipment confined to the controlled environments of the field rooms.